Today we're going to talk about vehicle to house technology. Welcome back to the channel and thanks for being here. For those that haven't watched any of my other videos, I drive a 2015 Nissan LEAF with a 24 kilowatt hour battery. It's that battery and how it can do more than just get my kids to soccer practice on time that we're going to talk about today. What is vehicle to house technology? Simply put, it allows you to plug your electric vehicle into your house to power your home instead of your home powering the car. Now you might ask, why would you want to send the power in your battery back into your home when it probably came from there in the first place? Great question, but recent events in Texas are perfect examples why you might want to do this. Texas has recently been seeing extreme weather that is significantly colder than normal. This has caused things to freeze like pipes and toilets and heaters to go off, which unfortunately has caused some people to die. You could run a generator to power your house temporarily, but they have more limited running time. Enter in V2H technology and we might have a solution that lasts a little longer. According to energyrates.ca, the average Canadian household uses approximately 30 kilowatt hours of power daily, with the largest power hogs being central air conditioners, electric heaters, and ovens. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to assume that in the event of emergency, you could reduce that usage by half by turning off unnecessary lights, not watching TV, and zero use of an air conditioner. By that calculation, your house could then run on 15 kilowatt hours of energy per day. My car is only a 24 kilowatt hour battery, but I could still run my house for a day and a half in the event of an emergency. Get yourself a long range Tesla with a 100 kilowatt hour battery and you're living comfortably in your home for nearly a week without any other power source. Assuming it isn't a full blackout for a week, but rather a rolling blackout whereby the power comes on for small bits at a time, you could even recharge your car slightly each time it came back on, therefore extending the amount of power you have in reserve. Now I realize there may be some naysayers watching that say they can just keep lots of fuel on hand or they can refill at the gas station when the power comes back on. And to that I say, you're correct. But if the power comes back on temporarily, you might be competing with lines and or braving the cold weather when you have a perfectly good power source just sitting in your driveway. And I haven't even mentioned solar power yet, I'll save that for a different video. That's it for me for the day. If you enjoyed the video or at the very least learned something, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. Other than that, thanks for watching and have yourself a great day.